Hi guys! In this lesson, I will basically explain the working principle of TRIAC. It is used in home lighting, dimmer circuits, speed control circuits of fan motors and many power control systems, including electronic switches, which is one of the power electronic circuit elements. TRIAC is an improved version of the thyristor. While the thyristor can control large currents by operating in a single positive or negative alternator in AC, TRIAC can control large currents in both alternances of the AC waveform. In other words, while thyristor is mostly used for DC power applications, we can say that TRIAC is more suitable for use in AC power applications. The abbreviation TRIAC comes from the initials of the English words triode for alternating current. It is understood from its English name that this 3-pin power electronic circuit element is used in alternating current. You see the shape of a triac on the left and its symbol on the right. Triacs also have three pins. One of them is main terminal 1, the other is main terminal 2, and the last is gate. The abbreviations MT1, MT2, and G are used for these. In the symbol, the pin naming is like this. Instead of MT1 and MT2, you may encounter the use of naming as anode 1 and anode 2 in some sources. When we look at the symbol and its internal structure, we can see that the triac consists of common gate pins and two thyristors connected in reverse parallel to each other. In its physical structure, it consists of connecting two structures in the form of PNPN in parallel. Thyristor is used in DC applications as it allows current to flow in one direction. Triac, on the other hand, is mostly preferred in AC applications since it can flow current in two directions thanks to this structure. So, how does this power electronic circuit element work? Let's look at it now. When a small trigger current comes from the gate end of the triac, bidirectional current flow can be provided between the MT2 and MT1 pins. In other words, a small trigger current from the gate end and a large AC current between MT2 and MT1 can be controlled. To better understand the working principle, we can give an example. As here, let's connect a lamp between the MT1 and MT2 pins of the triac and control the lighting of this lamp with an AC source. In this way, when we place the lamp, the lamp will not light. Because no trigger current comes from the gate pin, no current flows through the triac. For the triac to trigger, a small trigger current must come from the gate end. By making such a connection to the gate end, we can trigger the triac via a separate DC source that will light the lamp. Here, when we press the button, the triac will be triggered with a small current and a large AC current will flow from MT1 to MT2. Thus, the lamp will light up. Here, if we remove our hand from the button, that is, if we cut off the trigger coming from the gate pin, the lamp will turn off. If you remember, even if we cut off the trigger coming from the gate pin in thyristor, the thyristor was in conduction. We were making a parallel short circuit connection to the thyristor to bring it to the cutoff. So, what we actually did there was to prevent current from flowing through the thyristor. Thus, thyristor triggering could be eliminated. Why is there no current flowing through the triac when the trigger from the gate pin is removed? Because we are working with AC here. Since there are already zero points in alternate transitions on AC, the triggering of triac disappears at these points. Of course, we gave an example of a lamp control here. But instead of the lamp, the motor or another circuit element can also be controlled. The triggering of the triac is not done via an external DC source, as it is here, but via the AC source that drives the load, as is usually the case with dimmer circuits. I have shown it this way to better explain the working principle. I would like to emphasize this point, however, if we are going to trigger with a DC source, we should not connect the DC source directly to the gate terminal, as in this example. If there is an optocoupler between the DC source and the gate pin, we can do it. This is the basic working logic of the triac, which is generally used in AC power electronic circuits. I hope it was helpful and you liked it. Hope to see you in the next lesson. Goodbye!